Hey everybody at home, Dr. Corey's back again. Um, today I've got a challenge for you again, and I want you to own this one, all right? So some of you are, are friends with uh, my personal Facebook page, and you always are giving me a hard time with you know, hashtags of balance. And that's one thing that you're gonna hear me preach over and over and over again, because I understand the significance of it. All right, in my day I've been across the table from over 14,000 patients, and a lot of them struggle, uh, struggle with lack of mobility, all right? And here's where they go wrong is they haven't learned or they don't have the knowledge of the trilogy, okay? And everybody I show this to, once they you know, understand it, they, they, they get it and they adopt it, all right? So I'm gonna ask you a question. Do you think you know, a combination of strength, endurance, and mobility would lead to a well-oiled machine or a well-moving machine? And the answer is yes. If you have the ability to, to lift something over a period of time in all the motion planes, you're a pretty good specimen. That's one piece of the larger global uh, trilogy we talk about as far as health, all right? So when you look at this, my challenge to you is start putting time frames into this so you understand where you're at on a daily basis, on a weekly basis, on a monthly basis, and on, more importantly, over a lifetime, okay? This is a lifestyle change. So when you look at it, for instance, me, I've, you know, I, I, I've now kind of tailored my workout program around this philosophy so that I can be the healthiest individual that I possibly can be. So when you look at it, number one, you know, you go to the gym, you pump iron for an hour, all right? There's one hour in that silo, okay? So a lot of you just kind of focus on this. I used to, that's what I was, I, I did, I, this was my strength. I could go and do a hit workout, I could do strength, I could do all of that stuff for one hour. The problem is my pie got so lopsided that all I could do was strength. I couldn't move, okay? The next one is, Endurance, you know, when you go for a jog, when you go for a bike ride, when you do um, swimming, you know, any going for a walk, that's all endurance type of activities, all right? I went for a 20 minute jog in uh, Gray's Lake the other day, so guess what? I can write 20 minutes down here, all right? And now, what's missing on a lot of people, and you're gonna notice this self on, uh, you're gonna notice this on yourselves as you do this, you're missing mobility, okay? So many people will say, you know, I, I stretched after I worked out, yeah, for five minutes, okay? so. For, for that, you went and jogged, you know, 18 miler, in miles for my, my runners, and they spent, you know, two hours jogging, and then they spent 10 minutes rolling out. See the imbalance that created? Two hours of jogging, 10 minutes of rolling out. Doesn't equal out, all right? So what I've done as far as mobility, you know, one of the uh, easiest ways is to go lay on a massage table for an hour, or you can do things like um, yoga. I've added yoga into my uh, personal uh, fitness programs. So I go do yoga one hour. It's a great way to get an hour worth of mobility into your program. So I do now, I now do that uh, two days a week. So I really want you to really focus on owning this, okay? Put time to it because when you do, you are gonna be an absolute machine, all right? Not a machine that's not getting injured. Um, you know, my, a lot of my CrossFitters are doing a lot of this and a very few of that, okay? And they come in here with, with bumps and bruises, inflammation. So really focus on um, establishing this trilogy and owning it, all right? So that's my challenge, and I want you to own it. Be great.